Came out for a surf check this morning, and as you can see, there is nothing to see. There are no waves, and the visibility is slim to none. But I wanted to share an update on my fingerless whistle practice. I shared a video earlier uh, this year, last month, about the uh, kind of the early stages of my practice and the fact that I wanted to learn how to do this. And in that video, I was just blowing air and, and uh, figuring it out. So I've been practicing a lot over the last few weeks. I've learned a couple things, but first let me show you the progress I've made. Let me see if I can summon this whistle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Um, I could not do that before. It's actually kind of nice with uh, the fog. It fe I feel like it, it feels like it's echoing a little louder. So this is uh, kind of a perfect uh, morning to make this quick video. So things I've learned, uh, two, two, two tips. Um, the first thing was allowing, uh, allowing enough time for it to happen. Something I realized was that I needed to build up the strength of my lower lip and my jaw to hold it in this position where your lip is curled over your teeth. I've seen a couple videos out there and these guys are like doing it in, in a day. I don't know, I don't know how they did that. I, I definitely, it, it's taken me some time. And like I said, it's, it's because of, to build up this strength of your lower lip. So your lower lip is curled over your teeth like that. And then, um, the second note, besides it taking more time than maybe you think it's gonna take, is um, once you figure out how to blow the air out, that's something I kind of figured out early. It was finding the sweet spot of, of where my bottom uh, lip and jaw and, what, and, and finding the sweet spot of where that was positioned. And to do that, what really helped was moving my jaw in and out like this. Not that exaggerated, I'm trying to show you. Like that, while you're blowing, because then you can find that sweet spot of where the sound works. Let me see if I can show you. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not finding it right now, but here we go, let me see if I can find it. See, I kind of was moving my lip in and out, and, and that's taken a long time to build up the strength to do that. I guess I have a, a weak lip and a weak lower jaw or something, but. If you keep playing with that, maybe maybe that'll work for you because that's something that really clicked for me. Um, I'm gonna need more time to build up more strength because the harder I blow, which I think is how you, how you make it louder, the harder I blow, the more my lip tends to kind of um, uh, fall out or, or be uh, displaced from that position it's in, that kind of tucked in tight position over your bottom teeth. So when you blow, it kind of, the harder I blow, the more it wants to um, move from that position. So I think I got to build up some strength. So I'll come back with another video, hopefully not too long from now, where I'm doing this a lot louder. But man, I, I can't believe it, it, it works. I'm, I'm almost doing it all day long now because it's, it's become kind of addicting. <laughs> and um, I think I've uh, actually started annoying my neighbor's dog, which is a good sign. I guess it's getting loud enough. So uh, practice with caution. And um, I'll post another video once I get a little louder. I'm stoked. I feel like I can I can get my own dog now, or even maybe have kids, so I can <laughs> call them like a call them like a dad should <laughs> from great distances. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps, and uh, I'll uh, post another video down the line here. Hopefully, it's a lot louder.